was seen walking into her home and never came out. Was it an oversight or something more? A week after the fire in a Bond Hill woman's home and she's reported missing, her body is found inside the garage. A lot of bizarre details here. Nine on your side's John Genovese joins us live right now from District 4 Police Headquarters after speaking with a neighbor who was among the last to actually see her alive. John? Well, that woman and the family of Francis Johnson Gray just want to know what happened. They say firefighters have been through the garage several times. Family members were using the home as a base camp in their search. And now a week later, detectives are knocking on neighbors' doors. Dancing around the room, dressed in orange. Frances Johnson Gray was celebrating her 57th birthday with family and friends. Days later, it's just horrible. Flames sparking in the garage of her Bond Hill home. Firefighters quickly put them out, but Johnson Gray was nowhere in sight. I saw her go into the house. I never saw her come out. And, um, I just wondered what happened to her. Neighbor Darlene Robinson called 911. Hours after the fire, we're told Johnson Gray's husband was filing a missing persons report. I couldn't imagine her going off somewhere. I knew she was somewhere close. A week after a relentless search with flyers posted on telephone poles, family members found Johnson Gray's body exactly where she vanished. This is after the um, fire department had went through the garage um, and also the fire investigator came the following Monday. Family members say there are so many questions and few answers. The biggest mystery is why she wasn't found until today. A woman known for the meticulous maintenance of her yard. <laughs> full of energy and we're told always willing to help those around her. I think I'm going to miss her. I think we all will in some kind of way. Now, family members say they had also been in that garage several times in the last week, but the power was cut off after the fire, so it was dark. I did speak with the coroner's office tonight. They tell me a cause of death has not been determined. For now, reporting live, John Genovese, 9 on your side.